In the United States, it is illegal to drive with a blood alcohol concentration of 0.08 or higher. A blood alcohol concentration of 0.08 indicates 8 hundredths percent alcohol in the blood. The scatter plot shows the relationship between the number of one ounce beers consumed per hour by a 200 pound person and that person's corresponding blood alcohol concentration. Also shown is a line that passes through or near the data points. Part A. Use the two points whose coordinates are shown by the voice balloons to find the point slope form of the equation of the line that models the blood alcohol concentration of a 200 pound person, Y, who consumes X one ounce beers per hour. Part B. Write the equation from Part A in slope intercept form. Use function notation. Part C. Use the linear function to predict the blood alcohol concentration of a 200 pound person who consumes eight one ounce beers in an hour. Effects at this level include major impairment of all physical and mental functions. In part A, we're supposed to take the two points that are given in the voice balloons and come up with an equation of a line. To start off with, we're going to have to find the slope of that line. Recall that we can use the variable m to stand for slope. And to find the slope, we're going to take the difference in our y values divided by the difference in our x values. So we're going to have in our numerator 0.121 minus 0.053 divided by in the denominator, 7 minus 3. This gives us a value for m of 0 0.068 divided by 4, which is equivalent to 0 0.017. Now we want to come up with the point slope form of the equation of the line. We can do that by taking our slope and either point. Let's just go ahead and take our slope with our second point to start with. That's going to give us y minus the y-coordinate of that point, which will be 0 0.121, equals our slope m, 0 0.017, times x minus the x-coordinate of that point, which is 7. We could also use our slope with our first point. That equation would read y minus 0 0.053 equals our slope times x minus the x-coordinate of the same point, which is 3. Now, in part b of the problem, we're asked to find the slope-intercept form of the equation. We can take this format and solve for y in order to come up with the slope-intercept form. Let's go ahead and use the last equation I've written. We have multiplying out y minus 0 0.053 equals, we're going to use distributive property, 0.017x minus, multiplying here times 3, we end up with 0.051. Now to solve for y, we're going to add this 53 thousandths to both sides of the equation. That gives us y equals 0.017 times x, and when we add, we end up with plus 0.002. Now we're going to write this in function notation. f of x then equals our slope times x plus the constant 2 thousandths. Part c of the problem is asking us to determine what would happen if x, which stands for the number of beers, was equal to 8. So that means we can evaluate f of 8 by substituting the value of 8 wherever we see an x. This will be our point 0, 0.017 times 8 plus 0 0.002. Evaluating this gives us a value of 0 0.138. And this would then be the blood alcohol concentration after 8 beers.